So Alex, here we are, standing uh, slightly in the dark um, <laughs> in Bitten, um, but after a hard fall, narrow 2-1 win, very good win. I think for the first 25 minutes it looked like we were struggling to get our shape a little bit and then we had a really good period of pressure uh, leading up to the first goal. How did you feel that we uh, set about it tonight? Um, it was a battle. Yeah, we had to compete. It was a um, proper proper game, if you like, proper tool station Western League game. And in those type of games, you've got to look after yourself. You've got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the opposition. We knew it was going to be tough. We knew what they were going to come out like. Fair play, they, they had a right good go at us first 20 minutes. And we were, you're right, we were unsettled. Um, once we found a bit of rhythm in the game and opened up some good passing lanes, then we were fine. We set, we um, we put some lovely phases of play together, opened them up quite quite comfortably actually. Deservedly took the lead um, just before half time and, and managed the game quite well from there. Second half was different. They pressed a lot higher. They they tried to stop us from playing and school just after the interval more or less. So that yeah. was that was a bit of a a bit of a downer. Yeah, there. it was a setback. So I thought we were relatively comfortable at half time, but um, it was a goal out of nothing. But that happens when you know when there's nothing in the game, anything can happen. And then it took us a while to reset. You know, I'll be honest, I thought Bitten were on top for 20 minutes after the goal. We had to change shape. And once we changed shape, we give ourselves a better foothold in the game, got some players further up the pitch. Then we were better. We were better the last 20 minutes. And um, once we scored, again, a bit of moments of magic, really, from, from Mitch Osman to chop inside the box and win the penalty. It was, it was a piece of genius, really. Um, after that, it was they were always going to come at us. And we opened open up and then we can pick them off better we had opportunities to, to counter attack but and then last five minutes because we didn't meant last five minutes was going to be a bit end to end or whatever and we, we hung in there just about so great yeah. resilience great togetherness and really good to get the free. It seems to be like we, we were a bit more on the game management tonight in, in having lost a few in the last minute for the last couple of games we, we got it into the corner a bit more tonight and uh, yeah. it seemed to be a bit more savvy. We, we spoke about that and we said after Il Fakum and the disappointment that we've got a man, young group got to manage the game better and things we can do. Uh, you know we didn't have a pop at them after Il Fakum we, we said we've got to move forward with those key game management decisions and, and we did that tonight and um, Freddie King was brilliant in the last five minutes, winning fouls, Absolutely. taking it to the corner, Absolutely. and it gave us, it just released pressure, and I'm so pleased, More, I'm obviously buzzing for the three points, but I'm more pleased that we took on, that the boys have took on board what I was trying to get across um, at Ilfracoom, and then put it in the last five minutes to manage that game, and that's what pleases you a coach when they listen to information, and they've tried to take that on board and successfully done so. And taking things forward now till Friday, another game under the floodlights, maybe a little bit more light um, on Friday um, at home. How are you feeling uh, towards that one, setting up that one? Yeah, it's a, it's a short turnaround, but we wanted to get the game on the Friday night because to, to get more people there and, and give that a try. I appreciate it's a short turnaround for the boys, but we've had a good week off and we look fit tonight. I was, that was yep. the fit as we've looked. Yep. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Canesham are sort of rejuvenated, really, with a couple of wins. And so they're going to come in flying full of confidence. And I'm really looking forward to it because... Um, I think both teams will have a good go at it and if, if we keep passing the ball like we have been the last couple of games it makes for a very good spectacle so um, yeah another one it's another game unbeaten so that's five now in a little mini run which is really yeah. important so we're starting to put a mini run together hopefully start to climb the ladder again and um, yeah a really important one tonight but quickly moving on great thank you look forward to seeing you on Friday thank you very much cheers mate <laughs>